Oh, my God. I saw a guy talking about the Western media being controlled by foreign nations. Uh, only independent journalism is safe for information gathering. Indeed, 100%. It's the only it's the only sources you can really go to to acquire information everything else is compromised everything else is compromised they might feed you 80 percent not even 80 western corporate media best they'll feed you 50 percent facts but they'll distort the facts with the other 50 percent to make you think that fire is not hot right it's crazy plotino if I want my foreign journalism, I just read foreign media. <laughs> yeah, indeed. All right. And not controlled media. All right. Independent journalists, we're lucky. We're, we're living in one of the most exciting, blessed periods in human history. Really, we're, we're, we're blessed. Right. Because right now, if you want to know what's going on in a certain part of the world you can do half a day's research and find independent journalists from that area reporting right do a day of research if you're really interested you can find independent journalists from any part of the world that you're interested in and see what they're covering okay people are just lazy that don't know unsung hero then the big uh, search ends search ends say recently they're going to censor independent media sure they're going to try to yeah they're going to try to which is really by the way which is extremely important right because they realize that the floodgates have opened that many people don't believe the bullshit that they're peddling and they don't you gotta you gotta be low iq to believe that shit right Many people don't believe centralized propaganda. So they're trying to tighten their news and trying to make sure that not more people are going to find their way to independent media and find out that centralized power is just full of bullshit. Right? So they're trying to prevent more people from finding independent sources of news. Right? Is it going to work? Maybe. Here's the kicker. If you've been consuming your news outside of the social media platforms, right? You've been seeking out independent news sources and have been educating educating yourself over the last few years, then what you know, right, is happening to the world is way different than those people who have just consumed corporate propaganda, centralized corporate propaganda, right? That includes people who only get their news from Facebook, only get their news from Google searches or Twitter or Instagram or whatever, right? You need to find independent sources and consume that information and put yourself through rapid education because things are changing on many fronts and investing in personal finance is one of them. If you've even done a f like a smidgen of research into what it takes to invest, you would have realized by now that there's so much going on right now that if you're not educated at what the game is, you're going to get burned. You're going to get burned hard, right? We had We have friends that have bought homes in apartments, homes, land, whatever. In the last four years, that for last few years, I've been telling people, don't go into debt, don't go into debt. Interest rates are going to go up. Interest rates are going to go up. But some of these people that we know took the advice of the bankers and didn't lock in their mortgages. They they got mortgages, floating mortgages. I asked one of them, I go, why'd you do that for? You've talked to me. I've told you. Interest rates are going up. Don't go into debt. And if you're going to go into debt, lock it in. And she told me that the, the bank financial advisor told them, 
all get it floating because interest rates are so low. Fuck. Those people are pretty much screwed right now. Okay. Because it's not just mortgage rates have gone up. Everything's gone up. Right? And it's you have to think about it in terms of it's not that the prices have gone up. Is that the money is not worth as much, right? They devalue your currency, which is the reason that they're kicking up interest rates, right? It's twofold. One of it is they're trying to protect their currencies, right? A country, if the currency becomes unstable, that country is fucking gone, down the toilet. Those people in power will no longer be in power, and there's going to be huge turmoil. And some heads might roll, right? So what they're trying to do right now, Western countries, and many countries, are increasing interest rates to protect their currencies. They can't have their currency go into hyperinflation. They, they can't do it. Devalue completely, right? Because if they do, they're not Turkey. They're not Erdogan, right? It's not, it's not a total scam, many countries, right? People will demand someone's head on a platter, right? Or multiple people's heads on a platter. So one of the reasons they're doing this is because they're going to protect the currency. The other reason the reason they're doing this is because they know they know the numbers. We know the numbers. A shitload of people are in debt, so they're reducing the middle class, right? Because they can't have as many people in the system as wealthy as they are. They need to reduce that, right? As the World Economic Forum psychopath says, you will own nothing. Right? You will own nothing and they will be happy.